Good morning, it is Tuesday and it's Vlogmas day five? Day five already, God, where's that time going? Um, it's an office day for me and I have overslept this morning. I set my alarm to go off at half six like normal and I must have cancelled it or stopped it and then gone back to sleep because the seven o'clock alarm, which is the normal one that goes off, was like, I didn't even wait for that one. Eddie had to wake me up and said, don't you in the office today? So it's going to be a bad rush, no time for breakfast. No time for anything. I'm literally, I've literally got myself ready and I've got to go. <laughs> Not even a drink, so no lunch prepared, nothing. So it's going to be a grab and go day today again. Um, hopefully I should have more footage than I had yesterday, although I'm not promising anything for a work day because there's just no time. But um, I'm going to, it's, it's chucking it down. I want, I want to try and go out for a walk at lunch if I can. But anyway, I am going to my sister's to craft later, hopefully, fingers crossed, if we both get back from work and still feel up to it. So yeah, nothing else to tell you right now and I shall catch you later. I'll get you in the vlog. <laughs> hey? <laughs> oh, you're filming? Sorry. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. I think I've got something to be fixed in. Let me just see where No, I thought, I thought I'd take a picture. Well, not take a picture. Oh, I've got take a little, picture of it. Little things. I need to, yeah. Oh, we share that? Oh, no. I don't want to get that. That little sausage dog, that's cute. He is cute. I don't want to hide the deer. It's not a deer. I think we need to make them on a little hat seat each. <laughs> Should we be making them rearranged? No, I can't do it. Not sure about these. What, you're not sure? No. I'm not sure about all that stuff, to be fair. I know they've said those colours are in this year for Christmas decorations, but not in a mark of tea. No. He's just evil. Look at him. I'm glad that wasn't a thing, really. I'm glad it wasn't a thing I had to do. Even at the outlet, they're expensive. Those cans used to have when we were younger. Posh kids used to have the, the cans with those bottoms. When we used to go on school trips. Dan loves the sour sweet. That's like Tom. Oh, really? Yep, Tantastics used to be his favourite. Uh, not, not a big sour sweet. Oh, they're not bad actually. I might get some of those. You have those and there's some hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of those parents. Some, not as bad as mum, but I've got Yeah, but are these okay? What dates on them? Don't care. Oh, it's February. This is what I was going to talk about if you come round. I've, right. I've got a suggestion. I've got a proposal. Okay. For you. So after watching So Rainy... I'm behind on her vlogs. I need to watch hers. After watching her vlog? Yeah. Was it her vlog? Oh no, Penrose Knits. Yeah. Sorry. I haven't watched the most recent one of hers. So they do a... Sis the advent. advent oh yeah, so the advent swap. I think we should do that. I think we should do it. I was going to suggest that to we you. We start it in January and buy one item a month. Yeah. And it wouldn't be as bad as spending it all in one go. No, I it? agree. And then they do a craft I like the idea of that and as I well. I think we should do that. And on the usual suspects in Poundland.
Not at all. I mean, it's like everywhere seems to be doing candy laying and candy and like candy bakery and things. You all seem to be doing that sort of thing this year. They all smell like they all smell like plasticine or play doh. Smell one from here that doesn't smell great. It's not like play doh. Yeah, I don't think I don't know. So my craft session is off. I don't know if I've updated you or not. So I decided on the way home from work to pop shopping and coincidentally, Kath was going to m and at the same time as me. So I booked into Kath. Her husband isn't very well, so that's why I'm not going around crafting. Um, I showed you some footage around the shops just so you could see the Christmassy feel, although no Christmas music, it's very unfestive. Um, I'm gonna have this, which is a mince pie, <laughs> which is a bit naughty. I have bought things in for dinner. But Tom and you aren't here, so Eddie suggested that we have a takeaway again today. Since yesterday's was such a disappointment, I didn't really eat mine. So I think we're going to do that and then save the food I bought for other days. So I've literally just bought enough to keep us going. So I bought the stir fry meal deal from m and I bought some soup that's like ready-made soup. I bought a, a pie meal deal and lasagna and some cauliflower cheese. So I bought stuff that I can just microwave or put in the air fryer. So that's the plan. Um, so we've got stuff for, for other few days. I went and bought some magnetic learner plates so that Ewan can drive my car because he's insured on my car from tomorrow as a learner now that he's finally passed his theory test. And I went to Poundland and bought a few bits. I also, in m &S, got some chocolate coins that were free with my m and Sparks card. I'm glad Kath was there because she told me I'd forgot that you do the Christmas, 12 days of Christmas thing. And I got 20% off some biscuits as well for that I put away for Christmas, either for us or for someone else. So all in all, quite a good shop. But I'm going to quickly scoff on its pie because I've got the shakes. I don't know what's, what's going on. This has happened two or three times to me recently. So I'm just hoping it's not a sign there's something going on with my blood sugar. But I'm going to eat my mince pie and probably have a cup of tea and have a bit of a sit down. I think Chloe's coming over because she's got to drop her car off. Her car's in front of MOT tomorrow, so I'm taking it for her in the morning. So I'll show you if I have anything to eat. I'm going to try and start, and well, I'm going to try and finish my nutcracker that I showed you yesterday and then try and start another project. So hopefully I'll have some more footage, if not today, tomorrow to show you. So yeah, I shall catch you later. Apologies for the kettle boiling. <laughs> but I just wanted to say, these mince pies, they are the M&S Bakery, wool butter mince pies with rich mince meat with cider brandy cognac, I'm finished with sugar for extra crunch. I have to say, it's probably the best mince pie I've had this year. And I've had a fair few mince pies this year, but that has to be one of the best, without a doubt. It was so nice. One of my festive mugs. This festive mug I got from Poundland, I think it was, or Pound Stretcher, probably about 15 years ago, something like that. Um, I probably jinx myself now and break them, but they've been going strong all that time. And um, yeah, still using them. Just get them out of Christmas. Um, but yeah, the mince pie was the best I've had this year. It's just real crisp, really nice buttery pastry. And the mince meat is nice and got an alcohol flavour without being, you know, sometimes it burns your throat because they put so much brandy or something in it. That was beautiful, it's really nice. Um, pack of two, so they are a bit on the expensive side, but um, if you did a little hamper for somebody uh, and if they like mince pies, that'd be perfect, I think. So I'm making myself a cup of tea now. I'm going to have to sit down because I feel like I need it. It's been a really busy day. I did take some footage. Um, I went on a walk at lunchtime to a different building and had lunch in there, which I showed you, which was just a tomato soup. It wasn't a creamy soup. It was like, I don't know if it's tomato and pepper again, the same as I had yesterday. And I had two little rolls and they were the little tiny ones. And I did find mince pie, but I didn't end up eating that. Um, that went to one of my colleagues. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's what I had for my lunch and I walked to this other building and then I just needed to get away from my desk for an hour. And then um, it's just been a mad day. So glad to be home. Motorway was fairly busy as well. So 
It did take a while to get back. But at least I've got a bit of food in now because before there wasn't even bread. So at least we've got something. I want to try and get stuff in, but then not fill my fridge freezer. I'm hoping. The other chest freezer I finally got rid of yesterday. I really got messed around on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know if I've told you about this. But someone said they were going to come on Tuesday to get it. And um, obviously I put it up for sale on, well, I put it up on Marketplace on Sunday. And I must have had at least 100 messages. And I said to them all, no, it's gone. Someone's coming on Tuesday. So I messaged her yesterday and said, you are still coming tomorrow, aren't you? Because I've put a lot of people off. And she went, no, sorry. Hadn't even let me know. So luckily there was someone else who was next on the list who'd messaged and I said, it's yours if you want to come, but I need you to come tonight. So she did. So she, it's gone, <laughs> thankfully. So there's a great big space there now and then a nice dirty mark on the wall. So that was where the coffee machine was. And one of the kids had um, some coffee syrup and it was obviously off the back of the coffee syrup and it's dribbled down the wall. Luckily, we're gonna have units across there so no one will see it. <laughs> but, we did think about whether to paint it, but it's just a bit of a waste of time painting it if it's going to be behind. It's got, that whole wall's going to be covered in units and oven, so we're just going to, I think, clean it off and leave it. So yeah, that's all empty now on that side, and um, we're getting there. We're getting there. Obviously, the table's gone. That's in the front room. So we are. We've, we've shifted a lot of stuff. It's just a lot of work. This here is a new radiator. So that's like a tall grey radiator which is going over in the other side this radiator here is coming out because I'm going to have um, my breakfast bar here so it's all very exciting I can't wait to show you um, obviously this isn't vlogmas I'm talking about right now um, I shall catch you in a bit evening so we are all fed um, I didn't record my food in the end we had a Chinese and he just nipped down to the local one at the end of the road we just had a chow mein and a curry sauce and some chips between us and it's very nice Thought I'd just quickly show you because I haven't got a, a huge amount done other than that because Chloe called in. Um, I've bought some Christmas cards off. <laughs> Let me put the light on so I can actually show you properly. So obviously Chloe does a lot of like little frog content on her Etsy store. So we've got a merry and bright card with a cute little fairy frog, which I think is quite cute. I've got another one with a bear on with a little hot chocolate, wishing you cosy warm vibes. And these are all available from her Etsy store if you're interested. I'm not sure when she's closing actually for the winter, for the winter, for Christmas. <laughs> but that's her Etsy there. And then I bought a pack. I don't know if these are all the same in the pack. I think they might be. Well, I don't think they are different actually. Let me see if I can show you. So this one's got a little reindeer bear. A little festive frog, a little bear. I'm hoping I can show, I'm actually showing rather than, I'm looking at what I'm doing, not looking through my, my camera. A little pink frog, there's a reindeer. Is that the last one? Might be. I don't know, it feels like it should be another one there. Perhaps it is just one, it feels like quite a thick card. So yeah. They're my Christmas cards I've got. It's last international posting day, I think tomorrow. So we've got to go and get one ready to send to family that's abroad. So we've got one um, family member in Canada. I was going to make my own card on the cricket, but then I just haven't had chance. So I've got an artist for a daughter, so I may as well utilise it. And then I don't know if I showed you this earlier, but this is a project I took in the car to try and do at work. And then I just didn't get a chance. I went for a walk instead. But I got this from the works for two pounds. And it's a little um, crochet starter set. It looks like it's a difficulty of two. But I thought I'd give that a go and I could review it and let you know. So if you see these and you want to buy them for gifts, what they're like. I know it's a plastic hook inside, which I probably wouldn't use normally. But at some point, I'll have a go at that and let you know what it's like. Just because we see these things and we might buy them for presents, but they might be enough. But I'll let you know either way. So I'm going to end Vlogmas Day 5 here. I'm going to edit my video and get it uploaded tonight. And hopefully tomorrow it's a work from home day. There will be some craft content and some more festive fun. So I shall see you tomorrow for the next one. Bye.